All right, uh, let's look at the homework uh, two, problem number five. All right, so we want to find the slope of the line passing through uh, these given points. All right, so uh, let's do that first. All right, so I'm going to name this uh, x1. Oops, um, I'm going to use uh, blue here. Uh, I'm going to name this x1 and uh, y1. And this is going to be our x2 and a y2. All right. So for part A, if you want to find the slope uh, m, remember that the, this is just going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Right. So in this case, y2 is 13 minus uh, y1 is 5 and all over x2 is 9 and minus x1 is 2. All right? So this is uh, 13 minus 5 is 8 over 9 minus 2 is 7. All right? So slope is 8 over 7. So let's type it in. Uh, 8 uh, over 7. All right? Let's uh, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, next, next question. All right, so what is the equation of the line in point slope form? All right, so uh, let's do that. So B, uh, if you want to find the point slope form, uh, we just need the point. So I'm going to use x1 and y1. So it's a y minus y1, which is 5, is equal to, Slope is uh, 8 over 7 times quantity x minus x1 is 2. All right, so let's type that in. All right, so uh, let's see here. All right, I use integer or fraction for any numbers. Okay, so it's going to be y minus 5 is equal to uh, 8 over 7 times quantity x minus 2. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, uh, let's look at the part C. Um, let's see, uh, uh, we want to find the equation in slope-intercept form. All right, so we just have to turn it into slope-intercept form. So part C. All right, first thing uh, I would do is I'm going to um, uh, distribute 8 over 7 to both terms here then you will get um, uh, 8 over 7 x minus right, 8 times 2 is 16 over 7 right then we have 5 here so I'm going to add 5 to it you get the y is equal to uh, 8 over 7 x uh, minus, all right, so you have a 16 uh, over 7. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh, 16 over 7. Then I'm adding 5 to it, all right? So 5 is the same thing as if you want, uh, you know, a denominator 7. Three, uh, 5 times 7 is uh, 35, so 35 over 7 is same as 5, right? So this is going to be equal to uh, 8 over 7x, maybe I should put uh, uh, y is equal to, right? So this is going to be plus, right, 35 minus 16 would be, let's see, uh, so it's a 15 minus 6 would be 9, right? And the 2 minus 1 is 1, so 19 over 7, right? So uh, let's type it in, right? So what we got was um, y is equal to uh, 8 over 7 x plus 19 over 7. All right, let's check the answer. All right, we got that. 
right? Part D, what is the equation uh, uh, of the line in standard form, right? So let's write it in standard form. So D, right? So all we have to do is put the X and Y on the left-hand side and uh, a number on the right-hand side. So I would, uh, first thing I would do is actually multiply through by seven so that I don't have to see fractions. So it's going to be 7y is equal to uh, 8x plus uh, 19, all right? Then I, I can just uh, subtract uh, 8x so that uh, you're going to have negative uh, 8x plus 7y is equal to 19, all right? So let's type it in. So we have a negative 8x plus 7y is equal to 19. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, 7y equals 19. All right, let's check that. All right, we got that. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.